My name is Vic Rollo, and I believe that Italy is the best place on earth to eat and drink. Follow me, and I'll prove it. Today we're gonna to make one of my simple tomato sauce recipes. It's one of my favorite, Pomodoro Rustico. And this recipe, we're gonna use fresh tomatoes, basil, parsley, the Sicilian sea salt, which I love, the ground pepper, garlic, and extra virgin olive oil. But we start with the whole tomatoes. You get a nice, ripe beefsteak tomato and you need to core them. Very simple to core a tomato. And then put a couple X's on the top. And this allows the skin to release when we boil the tomatoes. And you let the tomatoes boil for about four or five minutes just until the skin starts to come off the tomato. And then put them in a colander, let them drain. And then once they cool off a bit, you can peel the skin off and you're ready to take the next step. There's no need to use a canned tomato when you can buy a nice fresh tomato at your local market. You need to chop the tomatoes, and they're going to break down relatively quickly when they get in the hot oil and uh, garlic. And now I have my tomatoes all chopped. The only thing else I'm going to need to prep before we go is garlic. They say it's a, a natural antibiotic, so I use a lot of garlic when I cook. And I'm going to use three or four cloves per tomato. And I just crush them with the knife. Garlic, tomatoes, spices. We're ready to go. We're gonna cook this for you. And you guys watch how long this takes. It's quick and easy. You have to start with good olive oil. So you'll see that I use a generous amount of olive oil. It's a big part of the recipe. Make sure you have good olive oil. Then I'm gonna take five or six, seven cloves of garlic in this hot pan. We have to get them nice and golden brown. Okay, so the garlic is nice and brown. Now, I'm gonna add the chopped tomatoes. The Sicilian sea salt. Ground black pepper. Parsley. A little Mediterranean basil. And we're gonna let this cook up. This needs to cook for about 15 minutes and break down a bit. And you'll see, we're gonna have a very nice rustic tomato sauce in just a few minutes. Ah, uh, the smell is fantastic. And today I'm gonna give you just two fresh, simple ideas. The first is I do a string bean with the pomodoro, the garlic, and a little bit of olive oil. And we're gonna make a beautiful contorno. And we parboiled this, these string beans already. So I'm gonna start out in a separate, separate pan and I'm gonna add some olive oil. And yes, I'm olive oil crazy, but all for a purpose, it makes everything better. And then I'm gonna take a handful of string beans in the olive oil and we're just gonna heat them up. And then maybe I use a little bit more of the ground black pepper, Sicilian sea salt, just a, a little bit to flavor them. And I'm just gonna Toss these a few times, just to start to get them warm. And then simply, I'm gonna take a scoop or two of the tomato, the rustico. And you'll see, that this is gonna make a fantastic contorno. And sometimes I'll cut the string beans in half and I'll mix them with the pasta. Tomorrow morning, you wake up, you want to put it in a frittata, perfect. I'm going to make a soup from the base of this tomato sauce that's a very traditional dish in the summertime in Tuscany called Papa al Pomodoro. We're going to start again with my simple tomato sauce recipe. I'm just going to warm a little chicken stock, just a bit. And as it's warming, I'm going to add a little grated Reggiano Parmigiano, so it kind of melts in there as we're, as we're cooking it. And then I'm gonna take a couple scoops of the rustico, the sauce, the base sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt, a 
dollop of pepper, a splash of olive oil. I'm going to bring this to a boil. And th you know, this is no magic. It's very easy to do. And we're going to toast leftover bread with just a little Parmigiano, a little olive oil, a little salt and pepper. And then I'm going to pour it right over the bread. And we're going to add a little bit of the grated Parmesan cheese, fresh on top, like such. And there, from my simple sauce recipe, Pomodoro Rustico, we've made three delicious dishes. We have the base sauce, we have a beautiful soup, and the string beans with the, with the sauce too. And uh, it's a great way to start your day. It's a great way, if you're gonna cook, to start your cooking day. Bon appetito.